where we was right near the BBC, Wood Lane Television Centre, we used to get a lot of um, TV shows coming, like getting the children, trying to put them on the shows, like schools TV. Yeah, I think it was a disguise, you know, it was like a, a social engineering programme. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to start by saying that I was born in Queen Charlotte's Hospital, Gold Road, March the 8th, 1969. Mum and dad bless their souls. Mum was a clerical worker. Dad was a London taxi driver, a, a career war vet, disabled veteran. And come from a family of nine. I'm the youngest, seven boys and two sisters. Mum and dad moved, lived in various areas. My dad was Wormholt. He was born 1931 and he lived there until, I think, National Service and the Korean War. I met my mum, Amsif Palais, 1951. They got married, 52. Raised the family, lived in areas around Shepherds Bush and Amsmith. 1969, when my mum was pregnant with me, we was given number 47, Stevenson Road, in the Wormholt, where we lived until September 1993. Now, I've got so many stories to tell about strange experiences, ghostly UFOs, shadow people, the wee folk that I can talk about to do with experiences and other people, because other people used to say, oh, the house is haunted. They see strange apparitions. It wasn't just only me, because the Wormhout Estate was built after the Second World, uh, First World War. Sorry, beautiful, beautifully made, great architecture. It was like a, a neo-Georgian type style, and it was where it was a garden estate. Each house, most of the back gardens were interlinked with alleyways. Part of these alleyways had are ways the worm out of sta- a state was like a, a map of the heavens and going to it where i lived at 47 stevenson road right opposite was peabody estate george peabody as you know was a philanthropist and he made great housing estate huge archways and w- there was two one was right opposite where i i lived 47 stevenson road and one was further up, heading west, on the, the junction of Stevenson Road and Sundew Avenue. Because I can go into the names of the roads and the streets on the Wormholt, like Orchard Street, Lilac Street, Yew Tree Road, Bryony Road, Daffodil Street, Wallflower. It was all herbs and flowers. And like where I use my imagination, is connected to magic and mythology because as you know that flowers and trees they intertwine with ancient folklore and magic and stories of the gods and goddesses on all mythologies spanning greek egyptian celtic nordic native american indian indian aboriginal it's universal and where I was saying about these archways in the Wormhole, there was three. There was two on the, the Peabody estate, and there was one on the junction of Sawley Road and Wormhole Road. Yet this wasn't Peabody estate. It was another uh, housing association. I haven't um, found out who actually built it, but it's called Orchard House. That's got an archway as well. And Sawley Road... Is, has been imprinted in like film mythology. It's where Jimmy at a quadrophenia, the film about uh, the mod, the resurrectional god, it was based on the, the album by The Who, the 1973 74 album. A lot of it was filmed on the Wormhout estate. And there's one major scene where Jimmy Scooter gets killed. And it was filmed on the junction of. Gravesend Road, Galloway Road, and Sawley Road. And this is where the third archway is, the, the major archway that's on the Wormhole. And what I've, um, using my imagination, and it's not only imagination, it's, it's fact, these archways 
they're in the same type of um, conjunction as Orion's Belt. Now, Library for me is a very, very special place because I, I, I gained a lot of my uh, knowledge and wisdom because my primary school, Wormut Park School, was like Hamsley with Hogwarts. It was a great school, but there was a few sadistical teachers and they were just phasing out the cane early 70s, but they still had that type of mentality where they grab grab hold your body ear or clip you around your head. There's nothing wrong with that, a bit of discipline, but a few of them were statistical. But a lot of the teachers, they were good teachers. Um, from my Wormont Park school, they encouraged us to go to the library. Also, my mum and dad used to encourage me. And I used to go there a lot. And where I'm dyslexic, I used to like have, have, have the impression that, that the school, the way they were teaching, it was totally wrong. They used to look at people who were dyslexic or slightly autistic as thickos, dumbos, dunces, which was totally wrong. I did much more in my secondary school, but it, that, that doesn't really matter because we're talking about the Wormalt. And Wormalt Library, such a special place. Where the, the architecture of inside Wormalt Library there was a, it was all like, a, I wouldn't say Masonic, but it was like Greco Roman. And the tiling, there was like 16 pointed stars on the floor. And the actual dome, which look, was set upon Wormout Library, it had like a, a pineal gland, flaming pine cone. And like, what happened with the library? is there were so many strange stories about people seeing ghosts there, apparition, big dogs. And it was shut down about 1992. And like, it's happened to not only like the Wormont Library, is they've turned it into a school and they've actually built upon, it was like, there was old hundred year old birch trees that they pulled down and they built an extension to the library and it's now part of their Conway Academy. But fair enough, children have got to be educated, but I don't agree with the education system with the way they teach it. It's a, it's a psyop brainwashing. Anyway, yeah. back to, back to that, that, that part, part of um, uh, the wormhole, it's called the curve. And I look at it, it's the curvature of time and space where that building there, if, uh, have you seen the actual uh, architecture of it with the dome? It looks like some poles. It's look, it looks like that classical architecture of ancient times where it's a conduit. I look at it, it's like it's a time machine. Wormholt used to encompass all that area. It used to be about a two square mile. Because if you look at that Georgian John Roche map I sent you, right, it doesn't really show the parameters of the wormhole. The wormhole used to run from the top of... Um, Horn Lane, Aitchin Wells used to run all the way down Harrow Road, the top of Wormwood Scrubs, all the way towards the where the A40 junction is on the border of Holland Park and Notting Hill, all the way down south to where that Holland Park, where that uh, weather thermometer mm -hmm. is, that water thermometer, all the way back up along the Uxford Road to Old Oak Road. It was huge. It was massive. Yet the only part of the ancient wood that's shown in that Georgian map is the last remnants of the ancient wood that was, that was cut down like the Industrial Revolution. And then the actual term Wormholt only coming to being again when they built the Wormholt estate after the First World War. Like with the wormhole, this is being recorded, people who don't know, wormhole means dragon serpent forest. And if you look at one of the oldest emblems of creation is the Ouroboros, the serpent with a tail in its mouth. And if you look at other ancient rep representations of creation, it's, it's, it's within the world tree. There's always like a tree with the serpent or a dragon with its tail in its mouth. That's the wormhole. The wormhole is the epicenter of all being. Like, it might be subjective, my opinion. Yeah, it's subjective because like, there's this reality we live on. It's coming apart and it's recreating itself. I've been saying to him for ages and other people, got to look at Shepherd's Bush. You've got to look at the wormhole. 
because there is so many hidden secrets and there's so many connections. You just look at the areas around it and right next to the Wormout, just northwest, was Acton Golfing Club. And my dad, bless his soul, he said he used to go up there in like the 30s because they shut it down like early 30s. He said, he said, oh, there was all mounds and long called them hillock. Like I live on the Isle of Wight now and I'm so fortunate. I live in such a beautiful place. I walk out, I'm on the beach like five and I head north. There's a golf course and there was a pyramid there, truthfully. There's the people like uh, the pyramids they were only in uh, Egypt or South America they were worldwide and where I live they they try to term it as like you know like Silbury Hill oh it's an earth mound largest earth mound that was a pyramid as well any theories of what you think and know about the wormhole I really appreciate your pointing me in that direction because I've had some breakthroughs just from doing the research for that and understanding some things. And it was really clear as I looked around that that place is like a power node of some kind. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, it's a wormhole. Yeah, I wormhole, mean, it's wormhole. Some, something there because of all of the uh, the railways. The, the streetcar is not there anymore, is it? The, is the, the, the tram, yeah. The tram. Now that that was taken down. They got rid of that because it was it was too economical and it was too good for like working class people. And the oil companies got rid of all the electric trams. They've brought them back in certain areas of London. Yeah, as you know, electricity. That's what the universe is made out of. And where it's like free energy, they they don't want it to be free, so they yeah, they got rid of it. Free. There's the worm out there. It's interconnected with other places around the world because I, I look at places on in Britain where the name Worm or Orm or Erm is in the title. Like there's a place in South Wales, Gower, called Worm's Head, and that is a pivotal power point. It's like connected to ancient Nucca dragons in Welsh mythology. And there's places like up in Scotland called Orminston, and it's there's like three thousand year old dew trees there, where it was it was sacred, sacred, sacred land. Yet people say, "Ah, it's full of old trees." That the the ignorance of people. Do you know what? Right, there's most probably places in all around the world that were interdimensionally connected to the wormhole through wormholes, and people think, "Ah, wormholes has to do with cosmic travel." Yeah, it might be cosmic travel. Yeah, but it's to do with earthly travel. It's to do with the inner earth, the hollow earth. But I'm looking at a map. Yeah, I'll was, I was, I, 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 I try and uh, photograph it and send you. It was the original um, map of how they were going to build the wormhole. But what they did, they, they, they decimated it by putting the west way. There were standing stones there. So what they've done, they've put these like huge flyovers, you know, to neg- turn the energy into negative energy. Part of the land was owned by St. Paul's Girls School. And St. Paul's Girls School is famous because the music teacher was there was Gustav Ols. Gustav Ols, he lived on the he he, he lived on near the the uh, the south east of the ancient area, he, he become like well known with like the planet. London is like a treasure trove, like a book for people to read if you can get hold of it. It's called The New Jerusalem by C. E. Street. There's a foreword by John Mitchell, goddess, God bless his soul. And C. E. Street's got a theory that London is the New Jerusalem and is surrounded by the 12 gates in the, the different areas, north, south, east, west of London, and there's four pivotal vortexes, north, south, east, west. you got to remember, you're yourself. Hundred years, hundreds of people say, oh, you look like your, your mum, your granddad, your great-granddad. Oh, you're a spitting image of your great-granddad. So 500 years ago, there was a you. A thousand years ago, there was you, you just passed the DNA. In simpler terms, it's like, you know, like Black Adder, Rowan Atkinson. He's himself through history. That's like us. We're ourselves through history. And mm-hmm. like with like the places like the Wormhole, oh, I know I was there like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10, even like going back to the time of the dinosaurs. But the dinosaurs, I, I term it the dragons because the dinosaurs, like there's a lot of 
there's a lot of fabrication to do with dinosaurs, you know. There's a lot of falsehoods that they've hidden what really was dragons, you know. They were a race of beings and they try they try to make ah oh, now they're dinosaurs. Because I live I live on the Isle of Wight now and um there's they call it the dinosaur island, but it's also known as the dragon island. Because mm. the to do with the um the actual the vortex energy of the Isle of Wight. The Isle of Wight is the base chakra mm -hmm. of the British Isles, where yeah. the base chakra is is the Isle of Wight. The top, like Orkney and Shetlands, is the crown chakra. Also, it's the baseline of the Bellinus line. Yeah. I've, seen, I've seen Gary's work on that. Yeah, um, it's magic. Yeah, mm -hmm. great, superb. It's where it begins, it begins right near where I live. Anyway, back to the wormhole. What, what would you, because I'm going on and on, what would you, you, you know, from what I've sent you, because I've got so much more to send you, what can you see? Besides it being a power node, I mean, they were closing the railroad stations there, you know, yeah. 60, 70, 80 years ago. Yeah. So there's something going on with that. Closing you know them and top, shutting them down. Yeah, you know what's on top of the wormhole, right on the, 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 the top northerly point, is Old Oak common junction is the major terminus for the euro tunnel and that was That's once all that was all nature reserve that was all nature reserve next to that is acton wells and it was a it was a spring spa health resort in georgian time it was like that that area was like a tourist where the georgians from the city of london it was a health resort and they'd stay there was an ancient river called the Old Oak River. I sent you a, 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 a photograph of ancient rivers of London because that's connected to what you, you you speak about, you know, the PowerPoints. Where the Wormhole is, the Old Oak River, it ran from Wormwood Springs, Acton Well Springs, all the way down Old Oak Road, in the Wormhole, Sedgeford Road, because a lot of the roads have got like Ford or Bourne, you know, like to do with water. Because um, Fort Fjord, Ford is like a waterfall, and it runs into Starch Green, Ravens Court Park, where the only remnant of that ancient river, there's like a boating lake, is still there. Ravens Court Park, they built Sir Christopher Wren's school. It was a secondary school, and it was it. They got voted the worst school in Britain. It was a couple of the sec. It was a few famous like artists and football players and. The two of the Sex Pistols went there. Steve Jones and Paul Cook and Betty Boo, Alison. I know, I know her, Alison Clarkson, Betty Boo. Look, few because that's what the, the worm out was produced as well. You know, um, few celebs and a lot of football players. The original, the original founding member of the Sex Pistols, Goddess, God bless his soul, Wally Nightingale. He was a lot older than me. My brother, two of my brothers knew him. He lived on number, I think it was either number two or number one, Hemlock Road, right next to Wormart Library. And he was the originator of the Sex Pistols. And as you know, with these bands, they got to have a sacrificial lamb. You know, like with the Beatles, it was Pete Best. And later on with the Rolling Stones, it was like Brian Jones. And later on with the Who, best band of all time. Another Shepherds Bush. Old Roger Daltrey's nan lived in the Wormart. Yeah, Keith Moon, he, he, he was he, sacrificed, you know. I don't want to get sidetracked to do with like our, to do with, with music and the manner, but it's connected to the worm up because you've got to tell people about Quadrophenia. Steph out of Quadrophenia, one of the main characters, she lives on Orchid Street. And if you watch the, the, the clip, it's on YouTube. You have a look at the designs of the houses, the archways and the alleyways. It's the scene where Jimmy Scooter gets killed. And I watched this all being filmed. And people who don't know it, well, why is people watching this? Most people do. Quadrophenia is the Ouroboros. It's the, the beginning is the end. The end is the beginning. Because people think he kills himself at the end. He rides his scoot off the cliff. Yet the beginning of Quadrophenia is, is the end. And the end is the beginning. As to do with like, do, do you know the film Quadrophenia? I haven't seen it, but I did look got, through. I did through the link. See the link that you sent me. You gotta watch it, Michelle, because like the Who, musicians and magicians, music is magic, 
and like, and that's been overtaken by a Tavistock group and think tanks. Yeah, I I look at it. The who the who are good guys, mate. They want our side. They told everyone when they took the offer to be a big band. You got to take like a Tavistock group offer, and they took it in 1967. Their album's called The Who Sellout. It's got magical songs. I can see for miles. I mean, and sit easy in the skies. Our love was. And like, and I'm sidetracking a bit, but this is to do with the who and the who's connected to the wormhole and where like Quadrophenia was filmed there because where it was right next to the BBC, so much was filmed there from like the Monty Pythons. You know, Monty Pythons, Ministry of Silly Walks, mm-hmm. that starts off on in the wormhole on Fort Bank Road, Dunraven Road, Reggie Sweet Shop, because it's a continuation of the Gas Man sketch. They filmed that for about three doors up from where my pal lived. And people in the know, watching that, John Cleese, it starts off Ministry of Silly Walks and he turns the street. But the next scene, he's like a mile down the road in Acton, Bromyard Avenue, you know, like continuity. Like only people in the manor in the area would know this where if you watch a show, you must be see if you watch an American show and it's in your manor, and they, they show a street and they're walking down it. And the next scene, they're like two mile up the road. You think, hold up, that type of scenario. I know that the wormhole is um, is an interdimensional gateway to the multiverse, the, like to the, the underworld and the upper worlds. And like, I, I'm, I'm writing the book, Wormholes, White Wormholes. And it's to do with, like, basically my spiritual journey. I'm fictionalise it. Yeah, 95% of it is fact. I must admit, I do elaborate. I do, like, we can all tell white lies. Yeah, it's to do with, like, making a story more sound sound even better because there's so many secrets to do with, like, that area. Because, what you know, George Peabody... The Peabody Estate. Is there many of them in America? Many of these, that kind of estate? I'm not, yeah, sh- I'm not sure. Because they will be well worth looking at. Everyone's been given the opportunity to like awake and be awoken and see, yeah, the time we're living in now. It's great times. It's magical times. People are saying, oh, it's, it's mm-hmm. depressing. It's... It's they're enslaving them. That's nonsense. You gotta look at it as a positive. We're rising up vibration level. The more people I tell about the wormhole, they'll realise where they're from, where they were brought up, their manners, their areas, especially working class people. Working class people, man, that's why it's frightened of working class people, especially London working class people. They're frightened, whether you're white. Afro Caribbean, because where I'm from, yeah, I should have sent you a photograph of my school. Yeah. It's a, it was true multicultural. I had West Indian mates, African, Asian, like Yugoslav, the old Yugoslavian, they, but they were mainly like Serbs, Poles, Chinese, Filipino, all good people. And that was when London was true London, like 75% like London English, London Welsh, London Irish. London Scottish and like 25% of brothers and sisters from around the world, like West Indians and Africans and Indians, Bangladeshis, Pakistanis. And yet what London's turned into now, that's what I'm saying. It's been invaded. People have got to understand the manner you're from. Like if, even if you're living there now, or if you're not living there now, you got to remember and you've got to think positive, live positively about it. Because what's happening on my manor, they're trying to create a mega city, you know, like Judge Dredd. It's like an alien invasion. I've got to send you photographs of the old Savoy Circus. That It was an old um, so-called picture house that turned into the Mecca Bingo Hall. It was on a major PowerPoint of Old Oak Road and the Westway, Western Avenue. They've pulled it down, and you've got to see the monstrosities that they've put there. Just across the way from there was an old, like, Edwardian Victorian pub, the Western, 
and the nightclub next door to it was called Lucifer's. And like they 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 got rid of that. They got rid of that. Also on that land was Barbara Speaks Acting School. Barbara Speaks is it was an acting school. A lot of famous people went there, like Phil Collins, the drummer, Naomi Campbell, the supermodel, and Jack Wilde, bless his soul, who played the Artful Dodger in Oliver Twist. It, it was well known for like producing actors. And that was basically right next door. It was right on the border of the Wormholt. And they were like lovely old buildings. The council, Hammersmith and Fulham, I won't say what I call them because it's swearing and how I've pronounced their names. And like at Ealing Council, they've decimated, they've decimated the area, putting up solar. Now they're putting up these like pod, single roomed uh, places. They're, they're trying to make out they're from for homeless people, but they're based on what they've put up in these monstrosities in China. They're trying to bring in their nonsense using the Chinese communists mm -hmm. set up. And they're, they're not going to win because we've already won. We've already won the battle. It's just we've got to replay. We've got to go through it. And I tell people, verily I say, it's like, where you're from, if you know where you're from, you know where you're going. And the wormhole is like the epicentre of all being. And where you're from... That's the epicenter of all being and where your listeners are from. Because where you are now, you've got to always remember your roots and what they've done into the wormhole. They've turned a once paradise into a hellhole. The negative side, murders, drug dealing and crime. Yeah, that's the, that, that's all part of urban life. Yeah, it, it shouldn't be like that. It, we mm. should go back to our true inheritance, heaven on earth. So, to do with a worm up, would you like to know about the um, what what the actual some of the stories I've heard people tell me that have sure. happened there? That would be great. Well, I had, I had a good friend, Miles Whelan, bless his soul. He used to tell me that he used to, he used to see the, these like ape men. <laughs> I, used to, I used to laugh, but I used to take him see him, stayed at his house, and I see some right weird things. He said he used to he used to be laying in his bed and these like type of uh, humanoid ape figures with like red glowing eyes this sounds as a bit of a nutter but truthfully they used to come out and they used to they used to hold him down and like he went to the doctors about it and they're saying that oh, it's sleep sleep paralysis it's uh, was it sleep apnea and yeah I stayed in the house and it, it wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't see humanoid ape creatures, right? It was mostly what his mind was telling him to see, his frequency, what his brave, what his brain wavelength was on. What I see were little people, you know, like the, uh, I describe them like hobbits out of Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. And once they, they knew I could see them, gosh, they were gone. They, and, I know of about half a dozen people on the estate that they, they used to mug them up. They used to mug them up. Ah, you, you've been on the drink. You've been, you're stoned. You, you've been down the pub. So they used to see these little people going in and out of their houses. Now, my interpretation is, is that these little, little people, the good folk, they're like the guardians of, of the wormhole. Football was created by Freemasons to, to divide and, create tribalism and mm -hmm. basically to control mainly working class people. I love football. QPR, Queen's Park Rangers, where they're originally from Queen's Park up in uh, just to the north of the wormhole up near Kensal Rise. It's an actual area, Queen's Park. And they moved down to Shepherd's Bush or to the wormhole. They call it White City now. In 1917, and like with football, if you know about football, that is a subject I could go on and on and on about. Because like, especially now, especially with what Skynet from, you know, that Rupert Murdoch, the mind murdering soulless nonce, what, what he'd done to English football when they brought in like live football, not enough 24 hour style. 
And what I find really, oh, it's unbelievable. Why is it no football fans or sports fans have been marching, saying, we want to go and watch our football? We want to go, we, we demand, you know, like protesting. It just shows you what they've done to the, to the mainly the, the working class man. Where you're brought up, there's, there's mostly so much hidden treasures in the old Wormholt Manor, Wormwood Scrubs Prison. And there's some right strange, don't say some. I've never been in prison. I was a bit of a bad boy as a lad, as we all were. Yeah, and I had a few blagger pals who spent some moons in the scrubs. They told me some right weird stories about the Wormwood Scrubs. And right next to Wormwood Scrubs is Hammersmith Hospital. And I, I sent you, I, I commented on, on, on your show about how in Hammersmith Hospital, they've got a cyclotron unit in the cancer research place. I worked there for three months, 1987. That is some weird, oh, that's like, it's like, what it was like, it was like, think of um, the bridge in Star Trek. That, that's what it was like, the, 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 the vibe. I know, I meant the science fiction, so I can put it on a par. And right next to this cyclotron unit is, they call it an incendiary tower. And it's exactly like, it looks exactly like the Chernobyl so-called nuclear reactor. And Chernobyl in Ukrainian is Wormwood. So there's, there's got to be a connection. You know, I'd like to, to see our, what, what the estates in Chernobyl were, what they were called, what were the names of the streets, what were the buildings in Chernobyl. Because they don't want people to go to Chernobyl. Because you know nuclear energy is a lie. And like they they created a, yeah. a, a they created a, they created a distraction. They don't want people to go there, so it's been called and off. They're saying, "Oh, you can't go there because it's radiation. You'll get radiation poison." Black like, gums. There's all there's like red squirrels and foxes, and you know all wildlife. They don't want people to go there. So what would be a, a real good for people who, who like their research to look at to see what the place names within Chernobyl. What were the areas? What were the buildings? Was there sports grounds, you know? And and what's the history about the place? There's no such thing as coincidences, it's synchronicities. It's all connected. Like, what, I've been, what I've been reading recently, you know, June, Herbert, the, the, he'd done, a, he'd done like a, about half a dozen books and the, sand, the sandworms in June, Mm -hmm. They excreted, what was it, a spice. And that spice, to certain we good folk, we can harness that spice and travel interdimensionally. You're your own time machine. You're your own spacecraft. It's to do with your imagination and harnessing your dreams. Dream as much as you can. Even the nightmares you have. You've you got to look, at, look upon nightmares. You've got, you got to look on the light side. Get light out of darkness. And with like the, the, the sandworms, the spice, I know that I was I was fed that ambrosia, that soma growing up in the wormhole, and that's still with me. What they've done, they 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 try and turn people's heroes and heroines against them. They try and degrade everything that we've held sacred in our childhood, like Star Wars and Batman and like Spider Man and the Avengers. Cause I used to read the American comics as a child. I was, I was banging to um, 2000 AD. I've got quite a few Facebook friends that were the original artists and writers of 2000 AD. Um, that's why they haven't um, made really a lot of shows about the characters in 2000 AD. Because my advice to people, read Slam. He's, he's uh, an ancient, like, Celtic time warrior. Magnificent stories in it. Magnificent. A Ancient Era and Ancient Albion, magnificent. If people slam, um, the reason why people like Netflix and Disney haven't made films or shows about them, because the artists that create them, they're not sellouts. They haven't taken the offer. With like to do with storylines and look what's happened to comics. Everything now is is on virtual reality. Non-existent. It's all through the the what we're speaking on now. Do you know the wormhole is right bang on the. It's called the Canterbury Ley Line. 
there's, you know, you've got like St. Michael and St. Mary's ley lines. There's mm-hmm. a ley line called the Canterbury ley line. The land that was um, the ancient Wormholt Wood, it was owned by the, the, the monastery of Glastonbury. And I thought, that's well, that's well, that's well strange. Why would the, the monastery in, in Glastonbury own the wormhole? And it's using my imagination, like time travel and magic, because I, I, I don't really want to go into like the, the hidden meaning of why they move from BBC, White City, up to Salford, Salford, the fault of Sol, the sun god, it's up in Manchester. And like I could, I could, I said like these like to do is it's not sidetracking because it's connected to the worm out yet. These TV stations and, and film studios, you look at the places that they they were they were designate they were built upon, Pinewood, Elms Tree, Elms Tree, the tree of the elves, and the, the one everyone knows, Hollywood, Hollywood. And that, that's the main reason why the, the BBC was in the wormhole. Listen, Michelle, great talking to you. Great talking to you, too. Thanks for reaching out. And, you know, we'll see what happens. It's, it's, it's that kind of synergy 